Hi, I'm Elaine Bailey, owner and, and creator of Elaine Bailey International Limited and Work Brilliant Coaching Solutions. In this very short video presentation, I just want to share with you some high level insights on how you can start to create real, sustainable, transformational change and results in your life. Now, life is all about transition. Uh, whether it's small or big, we're in constant flow. And I'm sure you've exper experienced the busyness of life where we often get swept downstream uh, reactively, chaotically. We go wherever the flow takes us and we end up settling and surviving. And as a result, life unconsciously happens to us. Now, if we can master transition, then we can cope with anything. And actually, it's the little things that we do every day that makes a real difference in our lives. Anne Dillard said that it's because how we spend our days is how we spend our lives. And this is so true. So some coaching programs uh, miss a vital ingredient when they're helping people move forward and make change. They focus on action and results. So the what we need to do and how you need to do it. So here's a checklist. Here's how you need to be more assertive. Here's what you need to do. Now whilst the principles are admirable, the actions are not sustainable because we're not actually learning at the right level. We're not learning at that deeper level. We're not focusing on how you think because that affects how you feel. And then those two components really have a huge impact on the actions that I take or decide not to take and the results that I get. So how you think affects how you feel, which affects our actions and ultimately our results. This is the why we're doing what we're doing, or why, or why we're hesitating, or sitting back, or why we get stuck. So my approach is very much from the inside out. It works on both mindsets and skill sets at the same time. So that gives you lasting transformational results. So my Brilliant Life Mastery Program is not a quick fix, honestly. <laughs> uh, it's not a cure-all either. So it's not something I just pulled together um, over the weekend and decided to present to you. It's actually a result of over 20 years of experience of me working as an international learning and development consultant, trainer, coach and mentor to many people, many successful people, in fact thousands of people that I've actually coached and worked with over the years. It's also created from my own hands-on experience of transition and transformation. And these have both been big and small in my life. So I've been able to watch and continue to watch the great results that my clients get from taking and working through these six principles that I'm going to share with you now really briefly. So whether your goal is big or small, so whether you're actually wanting just a little more clarity and direction in your life, or whether you're about to embark on a, on a big transition, maybe it's a career change or a relationship change, then the information that's contained in my Brilliant Life Mastery Program will really get you further faster. So real quick, big high level, let's just look down at the six key stepping stones to success. And by success, I mean creating your successful, brilliant life. The first step, number one, is clarity. And clarity is about focusing on your why. So get clear on your why. What is it that you want? And these two things are very important because it gives you direction and focus. If you don't know where you're going, then you're going to end up somewhere different. And it's very easy for us to be reactive and just muddle along and muddle through. So getting clarity is a great foundation for success. And it's our starting place. The second stepping stone is direction. So once you've got clear, then you need to decide and commit to doing what you're going to do. And redecide and redecide because as challenges and roadblocks present themselves, we need to be firm in our foundation and firm in our decision. So decision is all about developing your decision making muscles and getting into the practice of making clear, firm and effective decisions. And practicing this daily with small decisions will really help your confidence and will help you when those big decisions come along because you, you get to learn to trust yourself. The next stepping stone is actually roadblocks. Any transition, whatever you're trying to do, we will always encounter roadblocks and challenges. And this is where most people struggle because most people can't see the obstacles that they're creating for themselves. So we self-create quite a bit of the obstacles that are presented and, and they get in the way 
of our dreams, they get in the way of our success and they block us and we stay still and we stop moving. So roadblocks is all about recognising and then eliminating the obstacles that are in the way. And we look at this from two angles, two perspectives. Internal roadblocks are things such as, and I'm sure you appreciate this, the mindset stuff. So it's the habits and patterns that really screw us up. And the negative thinking, those voices in your head, I'm sure you've experienced them. The other angle of looking at this is external as well. So it's those external things that um, screw us up. Uh, and it may be that you're waiting for somebody to come and save you and create that transition for you rather than actually creating and building that transition within yourself from the inside out. It's also recognising things like busyness and distraction. And it's any of those external factors that create overwhelm for us and make us settle and survive rather than create and thrive. So it might be that you need to toughen up a little and learn to say no. It might be that you need to let go of some things that no longer serve you. But we will challenge those roadblocks head on and together will help you uh, work through them so that you, you're on your road and journey to success. The next stepping stone is integration. If you think about it, when you plant a seed and then the dirt comes up, which is the roadblocks, the next phase then is watching and nurturing that shoot to grow as it's starting to head towards the light. And part of learning and growing is about creating reflective space. So this particular stepping stone is all about stepping back. It's all about breathing. It's all about focusing on what we've learned so far. And it's a natural element that takes two things, space and time. So you get to reflect on your journey, you catch up, you realign yourself, you maybe look at one or two key things that you want to still focus back on. And we create re reflective space for you to learn and grow. Then we move into transition, which is our next stepping stone. And this is really where the tires hit the road. This is where you really kick ass because it's all about implementing those paradigm shifts. It's about stepping into your own personal power. It's about creating the boundaries and actually maintaining those boundaries that's around you. It's about being the person that you want to be now. And it does involve, I'll admit, some perspiration and some determination. Uh, and as you learn and start to grow, then others around you start to see that shift. So sometimes others might rub up against you and challenge your change. So this is where you get to realign to your goal and really focus on what's important. And you blast through any challenges and any criticism and how to deal with it um, effectively and confidently. Our final stepping stone is action. And this is about taking conscious, deliberate action that builds momentum and helps you create the successful results you're looking for. By the time we get to this level, honestly, this stepping stone, you will be practically unstoppable. I tell you, I am so excited about sharing this program with you because I really know it will transform your life. So if you're ready to discover how you can stop uh, letting your life unconsciously and reactively happen to you and start to learn how to start living your life, your brilliant life, on purpose. Then scroll down, read some, some of the more information that I've put down on the page and it also shows you how to register. Oh and remember, George Bernard Shaw once said, life isn't about finding yourself, it's about creating yourself. So enjoy your brilliant life.